So you guys have been asking us to show you some vintage watches. Today we're going to do just that. We're going to show you some crazy vintage watches. And this very, very special one, one of the rarest watches you'll ever see. Guys, I have got something really exciting to share with you. We have just launched the Producer Michael Boutique. It's at ProducerMichael.com. And what it is, it's an online store featuring pretty much everything that I love. And I think that you guys love too, because that's why you watch these videos. We've sourced everything from watches to fashion, to shoes, to jewelry, to you name it, we have it. And the great thing is it starts at about $20 all the way up to a couple of million dollars and everything in between. We've literally sourced the best value products. For example, this is a Davis Elvin watch. Many of you guys, when we featured it on the channel, many of you guys asked, where can we buy it? Because you can't buy it on their site, you can't buy it anywhere, but now you can. ProducerMichael.com, we are the exclusive seller of Davis Elvin together with a bunch of other stuff and it's affordable. A lot of the things are affordable. Some of them aren't, even for me, some of them aren't. The best part is we have become an authorized dealer for absolutely everything that we have on the site and everything comes with a factory warranty. If you like living large for less, go check it out, producermichael.com. And I just wanna say a big thank you for all the support you've given me over the years. It's really, really appreciated. I've put this together for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Now let's go check out some watches. So today we're back with Peter and Freddie at Luxury Jewels of Beverly Hills. Michael. We're going to show you some killer watches. Good to see you, my Good friend. To see you. Good to see you, How Freddie. Are you? Doing fantastic. Nice shirt. Thank you. Producer Michael shirt. Always. <laughs> <We're the best. laughs> no, those are great. Do I smell good too? Smell well, the you best. always do. Producer Michael, PM, fragrance du bois. Look at me, I'm like a big advert. I've got to behave myself. <laughs> you have sold out, my friend. I am so sorry. So what have we got here? So we have Omegas here. May I? Sure. Uh, this particular one, it's 1970s Seamaster chronograph, perfectly caramelized dial, screw back. What do you mean by caramelized dial? What does so that mean? These watches usually come with white face or ivory face. The creamish face. So in time, time makes them like caramelized when you, like when you cook in a crème brûlée. Oh wow, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's like finely aged. It's beautiful. So how much so is something it, like this? Uh, such a thing, uh, very reasonable, four to six thousand dollars. Well, that's less than I thought it would be. And will this go up in value? Absolutely. Beautiful. Omegas are the futures of Daytonas. Do you really think so? Exactly. So what, what, is, uh, what is this one? That I'm so holding? this one is an early 80s Speedmaster chronograph, black dial. Very, very collectible watch, very affordable. How much is it? This one starts from 6,000 up to 60,000. There are models that are way up there. And this particular one? This particular one, 6,000. Wow. And you think this is also going to go up? Absolutely. Uh, Omegas Omegas are, pretty much. Omegas are getting more and more popular, especially with the younger generation as are well. Are they? Yeah. I need to get myself Absolutely. Omega. Well, you, you know one. why the Speedy is so famous, right? Why? It was the original Moon Watch. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's, that's right. 1969, right? I, I don't know, I wasn't born. <laughs> Neither was I. Neither was I. <laughs> what about this guy? So this one, super, super rare. Speedmaster, Japanese dial. Japanese racing dial. What, what does that mean? Very, very rare. It was designed for a Japanese race in Japan in early 70s, I believe. So how much Very is this limited one? made. This particular one, it's $60,000. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, you rarely see them with this color combination. Orange, red, gray, yellow hands. Very, very collectible. Interesting. Nice piece. And you gotta be careful with these. There's a lot of uh, people try to knock off the knockoffs with the dials. Really? Yes. So they put aftermarket dials in Correct. to make it look so, so add for the added value. What is this crazy thing? So this one is uh, 70s, very this. 70s look, uh, driver's watch. Uh, so it curves on your hand. Blue dial, screw back, chronograph. Very, very popular in, in the 70s. And what are we looking at here? This particular one, five to 7,000. 
Hmm. Very I, I collectible. Think, I think I'd rather have this one for that money, don't you? Yeah. So would I, but there's something cool about the head. It's very really retro. Totally right? Very retro. Very retro. Right? Very very retro. Sort of matches shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're saying like 70s? Yeah, it's funky. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Very groovy. So here, these are all Rolexes, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to start with this. What on earth is this? It's got a dog in it. It's a Snoopy. It's Snoopy. So what's the story behind this? So this is by, by Bamford. Bamford, it's a company in Britain which they kind of, uh, I don't want to say alter, but they uh, like like AM, modify, modify, they modify. They modify. Let's, let's say like the AMG package of the Rolexes. <laughs> The okay. AMG Snoopy edition. So this goes <laughs> faster, guys. That means that one hour goes in 55 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> They're one of the few companies that uh, have added value when they alter the watch, modify the watch. It's very, very cool. Yeah. So how much is something like this? This is a limited edition. They did uh, 25 of Snoopy's. This particular one, uh, it goes anywhere from 35 to 45,000. Really? It does have a box, which is a actually snoopy dog house it's a red it's dog a chaos, house. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we do we do have it um talking about cartoon characters you gotta check this out there's another cartoon character right there what are you wearing oh my word it's uh gucci for disney that is cool so we bought a collection <laughs> what's that made of it's silver wow yeah we, so we, we bought a collection of uh um Cartoon characters, Mickey, Snoopy. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. And, and how much is one of those? D again, they were a limited I don't, edition. I don't know. We just bought a huge lot of them, big box full of them. So you got to so. figure out how much yeah, they are. Yeah. We spent a couple of hundred grand and we bought, maybe later on we could share some of them. It, there's They're some cool ones. Awesome. Really? Yeah. I'd like They're to see that. I think awesome. that would be very interesting to and see. Are those Gucci dog tags by themselves worth money now? Yeah, of course. Really? Because yeah. my mum bought me yeah. one of those for my 18th yeah. birthday. This one is signed really? Really? Disney and Gucci. No, no, I just have a regular one though, not a, not a Disney one. And, and the Mickey comes with it? Yes. That's so fun. And, and the chain? Yes, and the chain's diamond cut chain. Looks like diamond. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Really right. Right. I had one of my customers here the other day. He's like, you have all this jewelry, you're wearing a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chucky, Mickey Mouse, this is awesome. Is that Mickey Mouse? Mickey and Minnie. Minnie. So, what's the story with this? So, this was made in early 50s. They used to, again, not by Rolex, but the jewelers used to. Modify the Modified dials. the dials, put uh, cart mostly cartoon characters. Usually you see only Mickey, but this particular one is Mickey and Minnie. And what what, um, what does that do to the value? Increase it or decrease it? it in, and this particular one increases it because it's, it's from the 50s, from 50s and 60s. So on the vintage ones, it increases it. The newer ones decreases it. So what, what is the value of this? Uh, last one got in one of the auction houses in New York, just with Mickey, not Minnie, 12,000. Really? So I would say on this particular one, 15 to 18,000. And what would be a standard price if it, if it didn't, sorry, what would be a price for a standard model? Six to 8,000. Oh, eight, so yeah. it adds a considerable yeah. amount. Yeah. And, and I think in today's market with the watches going up and down and doing it, this is a much more stable buy now. The, the vintage watches the are. Vintage are, yeah, past, absolutely. Past, past few months, the watch prices have been dropping, vintage hasn't. Right. This looks very old. So what am I holding? This is a 1950s Explore. Okay. Again, very rare. They made a limited edition on this particular watch. This one has a bit of uh, issue with the dial. Otherwise, it would have been a $300,000 watch. For real? Yep. So. And how much is it now? Yes, yeah, what I was going to ask. 80 to 100. So, can the dial be restored or will that devalue it? Devalue it. Devalue it. Devalue yeah. it. We have here this is, is the Submariner? Is Submariner, uh, um, 1963, I believe. These are the... Um, they haven't changed that much, have they? No, 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 the body didn't change. Uh, most of the Rolexes haven't changed that much. Really? Right. Is this the same case size and everything? Or is it a little bit smaller? This is a little bit smaller. What's that, like a 39, 40? Do you remember what's I this? think it's a, f a 40. Is it? Interesting. 40, yeah. It looks smaller yeah. for some reason. It looks like a 39, maybe. Maybe 40. So w what does this go for today? It has the original dial, original band, all the matching numbers. It hasn't been played around with. Uh, 12 to 15,000. 
Same as a new one, really, right? So yeah, yeah, this. yeah. What? This one is uh, just the date model with a Thunderbird bezel. Uh, this one, it's I believe is 82 or 83. Again, all original, uh, nice vintage watch, good watch for a beginner collector. This one goes for uh, six to eight thousand as well. Nice. And very you, good condition. So when you say six to eight thousand, if someone was to come and want to buy it, that's a range. That's that's the range of depending on the exactly, condition of them. Exactly. Okay. And then this exactly. one here looks very unique. So I like this one. This is one of the most rarest Rolex with the Paul Newman dial. Uh, actually, this one uh, it's my personal watch, but uh, we do have one coming up for sale pretty soon. That's a real pretty watch. Yeah. So how much it's is this six, one? Six, the reference number is 6264. So one, I mean, that belonged to Paul Newman. I mean, everybody million knows. Eight, right? $17 million. Oops, I messed that up. Yeah. $17 million. Yeah, because it belonged to Paul Newman. Right, okay. Yeah, with all the, you know. So this one that belongs to Freddie, how much is it? <laughs> <laughs> it should be worth more. Uh, right? Should be worth more, but uh, I would say three fifty to 400000 Amazing. Amazing. That's a pretty watch, isn't it? That's very, gorgeous. very, yeah. very. Lovely, lovely watch. Yeah, that's belong to my own private collection. And now this is the Grail watch, right? This is the we, we just bought it too a couple of days ago. Tell so us about it. Has the original box, even the the booklet. The original has the papers. Ori original warranty oh, paper. Wow, look at that. Even the original tag sticker. that goes on sticker that goes on side of the the watch. And look how cool the calendar is from 1975. Oh, that's incredible. Wow. Uh, it There's was uh, manufactured Hong Kong. Hong Kong. in, yeah, manufactured in 1974, sold in 1975. Um, one owner. That's amazing, isn't it? That's, that's awesome. it. Uh, but you gotta check out the condition it, well, of the watch. The gentleman we got it from, he was in military and, you know, he just bought it and mm. put it away. It still has the hand tags. And it's never, may I? It's never been polished or anything? Nothing. No, nothing, nothing. nothing. When, when we were looking at it to buy, we inspected it thoroughly because it was in such good condition, had the box, that the tags were like, how is this possible? So this must be worth a lot of money. Uh, we're gonna put it up for auction. We let you know what it get. What would you guess it will get? 150 to 200. So this is less than this one? Uh, yes, this, this because of the dial is- Because of the problem in the dial. Right. Yeah. Wow. And this this calls the the big red, right? So it's more expensive because it has that red. The Daytona, Daytona. is in red, correct? And is this the Zenith movement that's in this one? Uh, no, 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 no. These are just uh, Rolex movement. Uh, and what movement adds the value is that it has everything. The complete right. package, yeah. On vintage watches like this, having the papers, the tags, all this stuff really adds a lot to it. I'm sure. Uh, Even the calendar, 1975. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, we, we're really excited <laughs> on this watch. And these here, these are a bit more modern, right? Yeah, these are more modern. Pateks, pretty, very pretty. I like the color of that dial. Yeah, this, is, this one's actually also a dark blue dial, you can't tell. This is dark blue? Yeah. It looks black. It's navy. Oh yeah, I see it, I see it. And these are pretty much similar watches. This one has the power reserve. This one has diamonds on the side. This one does not. And how much are these watches? Yeah, let's do a side by side. Yeah. Which one would you take? The black one. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's more masculine. This is a little more feminine. These are what? 37? 39 30, millimeters. Oh, are they 39? Yeah, they're both 39. Pretty watch, right? That's a pretty watch. And how much are these? Uh, these range anywhere between like 50 to 65,000. That's good value for a, for a uh, Absolutely. When absolutely. you think of a Nautilus nowadays, that's it's going ridiculous. for stupid money. But they're coming down as well, the Nautilus is. I saw that yeah. uh, dramatically, right? Yeah. This looks expensive. That is extremely. That's a Vacheron Constantine Lady Color. The, the men just called the King Color. Really? Yeah. This, uh, is this vintage? This particular one, I would say, is 1995. 
probably somewhere in the 90s, so it's, mid 90s. It's, so it's, it's used. <laughs> yeah, right. This is all factory. Do you see a lot of these that are aftermarket? Uh, that the whole thing is except the movement, but this is all factory. So what does this sell for originally? I believe retail at that time was anywhere from six fifty to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. That was a lot of money back then. Still, still, a, lot lot money. Money. still a lot of money, right? And this is a the watch. Men's yeah. Was yeah. So my question is, all right, I don't have my glasses on, but without without glasses, I can normally see hands. Whether they tell me exactly I, I what time it is. I someone wears this for the time. Does this have hands? I, I can't see them. I'm wearing my glasses. <laughs> does it have it hands? Have yes, hands. of course yeah, they have hands. Yeah. Does it come with a microscope? <laughs> It's, yeah, it's, see the hands. It's, you see it's the hands? more of a bracelet. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a jewelry piece. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's very exquisite. So, and today, what, what is this worth? The, uh, the men uh, type of this, they were called King Kala, was the first watch that was retailed at $1 million. That mm -hmm. was the first $1 million watch, which Crazy. is called King Kala. This one, three fifty dollars to $400,000 today. And, and, and this one here, you have this here also, I'm sure this for a reason. This is a very, very rare, I believe, very limited piece made. First one I ever seen is a Patek Philippe, lapis style, um, very know unusual. Patek made watches yeah, like this, this was made in, uh, we have the archive paper, it was made in 1974, probably a special order for a royalty or uh, somebody in an, very elite. They, uh, it's very it, cool looking. It has over 10 carat of diamonds on the bezel. Um, the dial is made out of lapis. Mint condition. Mint condition. And, and, and how much? How much is this one? Eighty thousand. Oh, I thought you were going to say more. Patek and all no, the diamonds. That's and very fair. Very fair. Well, really, really mm -hmm. nice. Well, this has been interesting, right? I mean, at the end of the day, when you think about watches and what's happening to them now they go up they go down they go up they absolutely but these only go up don't they correct and they've never gone down especially vintage rolexes and, and amigos you said as well oh right? yeah oh Omegas, yeah. as i said they're getting more and more popular i might have to start and, getting and they've always been popular don't get me wrong but they're getting more popular and it's more affordable there's a there's a, a current amiga um very popular watch do you know what that's called the moon swatch the, the swatch no, not, one? not the swatch one. Uh, Amiga have a watch that I believe is really popular right now, and I forget what it's called. The Speedmaster is the one you just mentioned. The Dark Side of the Moon? Yeah. Yeah, it got stolen in my robbery. I had oh, one oh, really wow. window. I had the gray side of the moon, actually. There's a dark side and the gray side. Is it? Yeah. Well, and I was thinking of keeping it for myself. It was so nice. It's, uh, Interesting. Well, um, guys, thank you so much for showing these. And uh, what are those? Uh, those are, I'm, I'm a state buyer, uh, we travel all over the Louis, world. Louis, right? To, we have a large collection. We have a large you, collection of trunks. Do you want to do a video on the, on the cases? Absolutely, yes. Let's do, let's do a whole separate video, because these are cool as heck. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll cut, we'll do another video. And uh, guys, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell. We're in it to win it, what have I missed? The boutique. Oh, the boutique, the boutique. Very important. How can I forget the boutique? Producermichael.com. Go shopping. See ya.